Oh my god, I can't ask anything. <laughs> I think it's amazing that you can uh, still inspire each other in all those levels. Like, I mean, how, how long have we been playing together? Ten, Ten years. years. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, that's a long time. Oh, mm. it's, yeah, it's a while. Really, really cool. Uh, did you start when you first met? Was it like through music? So the, no, not at all. Not playing. Uh, we met at a folk festival, and you, honey, had played the year before, but wasn't playing that year. So I, I was playing, and. Um, then uh, we, after a while, after a while of um, kind of deciding that the Norway Scotland thing wasn't too stupid after all, um, then we um, started seeing each other as a couple. And I knew that Johanny was a good musician. Uh, uh, rather, sorry, I knew that he played guitar, but I had no idea if he was uh, if he was any good. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> and and I was kind of nervous about well. I hope I hope he's good because otherwise, ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that and will it, not end well. <laughs> yeah, if you marry a bad guitar. Yeah, and it turned yeah. out he was amazing, and then, uh, but but he wasn't playing. Obviously, he didn't play Scottish folk music then. So um, yeah. so so I had a, a like a little gig, just a private music like thing one afternoon. And the person that I normally played with wasn't available. And I thought, ha, 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 I can get you honey to come and visit. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I just sent over um, lots of recordings and you honey practiced. And when he turned up, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's really good. Well, so that was pretty, that gig was probably quite rough. <laughs> it was, uh, it wasn't the, 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 where we're at now, but it no. was a, it was a, it was an amazing start. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was still yeah. through music. Yeah. Music is like everything from like the beginning and the end. So, um, I've been listening. Some of your stuff uh, has been really surprising. It has Balkan vibes. How come? Or is it just in my ears that I hear some Balkan? Like, well, there's. I mean, one tune is like a, we play this klezmer tune. Yeah. Uh, and it's Itzikel. So that is, uh, I mean, it's not Balkan directly, but it's definitely like a Eastern. Yeah, the sound, I mean, it's not, not the most, but the sound, kind of. Uh, I was so surprised that, okay, it's Scottish, Scandinavian, and so suddenly it was like, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> so <laughs> I was a nice, uh, nice uh, surprise in the sound. Okay. And uh, it was the same in, with Overset uh, album. There is okay. also. Yeah, there's this Volka, <laughs> yeah. That's, uh... yeah. But like the, the combination of sounds, it's really, it was really surprising. But is, is there, is it like, uh, have you ever decided to go for that? Or is it just... no, no, not at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's never, never, never heard. And you're the first one to yeah, say it. Never thought about look, it. I had so... to ask because I thought, okay, one tune. But then I kept hearing, oh my God, there was also, there was also. Oh, I think it's awesome. That shows how everything is kind of way, like, like a tapestry, like put together, like uh, music is happening everywhere and the traditions kind of, I think we all influence each other. Yeah, that's, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah I mean, we cool. both love Balkan music, so, mm. so it's, in the, it's, it's in the brain somewhere. <laughs> in the system, yeah. yeah. So um, how, describe your uh, creative process as a Jew. I mean, it's easy for me to describe as a solo player and how I think, but how do you work creatively as a duo? One of us suggests a tune. Yeah. And then we just start playing. I think we, I think we just um, probably learn the tune first because the yeah. tune is after all the most important thing. So you uh, both play the melody together, get the phrasing know, and get so, the stuff. Yeah. yeah. Not, not like, not, not, not in a way like, not in a very systematic way. No, but we make sure that but it's we definitely there. both learn the tunes. Yeah. Whichever whoever comes to work with the tune. And then we just play. It's it's not it's very, very like a, it's it's very organic. It's very organic. We just yeah. play and try out stuff and make usually things end up with like many different versions and then it just kind of evolves and okay, we have mm. to cut that and cut that and we can add this and then <clears throat> we tend to improvise a lot, uh, and then 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 things go into mm. new places, and then the improvised mm. things kind of become 
more complex. Yeah, they yeah they become like not not through like okay let's stick to this, but it just becomes like after playing it many times that oh, okay now what was an improvisation has actually like become a thing, and then it's and then after maybe a year then it kind of opens up again. Mm-hmm. Things things can go. So they live. Yeah, I mean that's that's the goal at least that. Uh, of course, it's difficult if you kind of found something that, yeah, this really works. And then it's like, then you just do it. But mm. then after after you played the same tune for a long time, then it's like, oh, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that feeling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were just about to record our third album. And oh. we, um, so we've been working on new music the last last year or so. And uh, finally, now we've had the chance to do some some gigs just recently, and we've been mm-hmm. playing this new music. That has been so good for the soul. So nice yeah. just to feel inspired again and uh, not turn out the same old stuff. <laughs> yeah, like when you're making settlers and like, oh, there's all this new stuff that we haven't <laughs> played. Like, yeah, yes. yeah. Good luck. Because <laughs> it's been like, oh, mm. we have played so it's it so much. Dy- yeah. Dynamic process. Mm-hmm. what you have yeah great uh if you could say just one sentence which is put on the billboard somewhere what could that be about us or about anything whatever it's a big billboard <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a that's a question uh i think i would say do as you would be done by so that uh i think that um I would like I would like the world to be more humble and for everybody to treat everyone else well, very well. Well, no, and I, nature. I, I can't I can't say the same thing now. So then I would say, then I would say, uh, uh, yeah, say don't believe the hype. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good one. Good one. Good one. Mm-hmm. And uh, now I would like to finish uh, with uh, this re- like a small question which, which can also be big if you can <laughs> kind of uh, yeah it depends on you you can um, finish the sentence so live like love like and then you can have like <laughs> mm. so live like finish the sentence love like and then you can choose what, like, and how. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> I really loved Anna's uh, answer when I asked her. I just I asked her, so live, love, and uh, and then she she went like, live, love, and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I never I never waited that she will say sleep. Oh, that's I think that's hilarious. You ask that from people because you think like, oh, maybe they will say, and then they will say totally the opposite. So I had to ask. I don't know, live like I don't know. My I mean my my most overriding thing in life is honesty. So I would say live like well yeah. li- live honestly, live like an honest person, love honestly. Yeah. Um sleep honestly. Sleep honestly. <laughs> So you go to sleep too. Sleep. Right sleep now, board. I don't care. Right now, with a one-year-old, I don't care if I sleep honestly or not. I just want to sleep. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's just like sleep. <laughs> yeah, actually, sleep. sleep right now. Sleep is probably a. It's high up the list. It's, it's like. Or is it because? Uh, is it because of us getting older that they start to sleep more? Yeah, well, you're certainly meant to have your children when you're young, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, but uh, I can just assure with a 13 and 15 year old, I mean, it's just the pattern is just different, but the lack of sleep, I think it's the one essence of parenthood. I think. <laughs> it will never leave you. Oh, hell. It's just in the beginning, they want food, and then at the end, you will be waiting for them <laughs> because they come from somewhere. So it's always, you always yeah, yeah. kind of. <laughs> Mm. Or you have to comfort them, or you have to listen music with them in the night, or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it never ends, so it's it's an essence of parenthood. So you 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 choose sleep also. So live like an honest, live honestly, love honestly, and sleep much. Yes. Yeah. 
I think we can both uh, <laughs> we can uh, we can both agree on that. Sleep almost <laughs> enough. <laughs> okay. Sleep as much as you can. Okay, that was a good one. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so great to chat to you. So yeah, likewise. Right. It has to be so short, but uh, we can continue in the future. Yeah, I mean, yeah. after this, then we have to meet up and and uh, yeah. deal with these issues. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Many thanks, many thanks. Looking yeah. forward to publish this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, thank right. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take Bye. care. Okay.